welcome back to another exciting, amazing, ooh, wonderful, hey. and very unique episode of Booze Briefs. Hey, all right. I'm Matt. I'm Derek. And uh, just giving you a little precursor because I know some of you out there like it when we tell you how exciting the episode's going to be. Mm -hmm. So that way you know what you're in store for. Yeah. Oh, if you said like, hey, welcome back to this terrible episode of Booze Briefs. It's going to suck ass. You're not going to want to watch this. Go on to the next episode. Yeah, but, really. But it's exciting. You're going to want to stick around. Perfect. We're doing um, a variant on a bar staple. This is yep. a hand-selected bottle of Woodford Reserve Ooh. from our friends over at the bottle shop, Hot Beans. They give me a smile. I paid for it. Yeah. But this was their pick. Uh, they called it the Quarantine Juice. Okay. Fittingly picked. Yes. Um, they did a series of three. They did the Double Oaked, which we're going to review, mm -hmm. which is Fait Magnifique. And they well, also that, did the oh, rye. Oh, double oak. We're going to review later. We're going to review later. Okay. I was like, yes. Doesn't look like the double oak. No, 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 no. This one is just the standard Woodford Reserve. Okay. This is the good, good. And then there's the double oak, which is the double good, good. Okay. And then I also got the rye. So I got all three bottles, which also puts me into the mix for a very, very special bottle, which I'm not going to tell you about until we have it. Ooh. Do it. All right. Uh, so this is it. It is 45.2%. Okay. Just standard Woodford. Um, there's, I mean. Oh, boy. Look at all Look at all that wonderful information on the back of the bottle. There's Pratton on the bottle. So I'll pour it. I think these are an easy bottle to pour. Yes. I think you're going to really enjoy this one. I hope so. I picked up the other two bottles in the collection, the rye and the double oak, and I was like, do I get it? I mean, well. I mean, I was like, it was 52 or $53. So it was like, I mean, it's going to be good. And it's a bigger bottle, too. Is it? It's a liter. Can you see it in there? Yeah. Hmm. Would think it has to. Good old TTB or whatever. Yeah. One liter right there. Hey, look at that. So it's not a 750. It's a liter. Because I put it up next to the rye, and I'm like, either I'm sh wasted and one of my contacts is out, or this bottle's bigger. And, hey. <laughs> I mean. Hey. It happens, right? Ju judgment free zone? <laughs> yeah. Um, so, I don't have any notes on this exact bottle because it was a single barrel. Um, but what I can give you is some notes of just their their straight bourbon whiskey. Um, somebody got a thesaurus out. Uh, and was like, Christ. We're going to throw all the words. This one, this is one that I think may piss off there. Ooh, but, I'm I'm here for that. Yeah, he, he loves it. Good. There's if there's one thing I love, it's good bourbon. There's two things I love, it's good bourbon. I'm getting angry. <laughs> getting angry. It's kind of an old man thing, I think. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. So nose wise, what are you getting on this? And I'll tell you what they say. See, I'm not good at picking out all the flavors on the nose. I just think it smells sense. good. It smells great. It smells deep. Mm -hmm. I get. All right, I get if, you, if you want me to try to pick things out, I, I will do my best to pick things out. Would you like mine? Uh, not yet. Okay. I get like cinnamon, some red apple. Uh, <laughs> I see you shaking your head. Why don't you just tell me how wrong I am? Uh, heavy with dry, with rich dried fruit, hints of mint and oranges you covered. Can, you with... can dry a red apple, damn it. I guess. <laughs> but is that a rich dried fruit? I don't know. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Oranges covered with a dusting of cocoa. <laughs> Faint you know, vanilla you know, and tobacco spices. Oranges dusted with cocoa. You know, that thing you do. I mean, you don't dust your oranges with cocoa before you eat them? Not too often. You're not a psychopath? <laughs> These people also have people tied up in their basement. <laughs> I, like to put, cool. I like to put HP sauce on my grapes. <laughs> yeah, duh. These blueberry pancakes are great. Do you have any ketchup? I'm chewing. That's yeah. A, mm. See, that doesn't strike me as a, as a chewy bourbon. The longer it sits, I right. think the thicker it gets. The heat is not overpowering at all. Mm -mm. I get very little heat, which I, as a sipper, mm -hmm. that's great. It's even better on the rocks. Uh, so they are saying, rich, chewy, rounded, and smooth, with complex Ooh. citrus, cinnamon, and cocoa. 
See, you said it was a smell. It's actually a taste. So those are two different things. It's a common theme here. Oh, I gotta go. Toffee, caramel, chocolate, mm -hmm. and spice notes abound. I agree with all of that. I mean, I'm getting the vast majority of that. Um, I don't get the cinnamon. If that's what they're saying the heat is, then maybe a little bit. The, the more I, like, switched that around and, and kind of chewed on it, it opened up a lot. Yeah, and I've got, I've had this one for... Someone's breaking into a doghouse. Apparently. Um... That's terrible. That's that's what we want for this video. <laughs> that's terrible. That's the alarm sounding for a good bottle of bourbon. <laughs> um, just put an alarm like that on our bourbon cases. Well, then I'm just going to set it off every day. <laughs> no, no, like you can turn it off. Oh, uh, you have control. Like yeah, just yeah. like that. See, mind control. But I almost like in addition to the the toffee, the caramel. There's almost a little like toasted marshmallow. Yeah, yeah, I like. I can see that. Yeah. A little frog in my throat there. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, it's a Kermit the Frog here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's good bourbon. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm glad that either the notes or you said, like, chew on them a bit. Because some bourbons, they're just, like, up front, punchy with flavor. You don't need to chew on them. But this benefited greatly from it. Here, here's what I said with Pissed Eric on. Oh, I'm here for it. All right, hit me. I'm going to skip down a little bit here, but it says <laughs> the perfectly balanced taste of our Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey is comprised of more than 200 detectable flavor notes. The hell? No. No. <laughs> no. Well, I'd like to welcome you guys to Booze Briefs. I'm mad I'll be doing these videos on my own. 200. <laughs> 200. 200. 200. How? Um, How? How? Well, that all comes from bold grain and uh, wood to sweet aromatics, spice, and fruit, and floral. So it's and, and then floor, fruit, ampersand, floral notes. So it's and, and. Um, let me just give you a little, little rundown of kind of what they're saying there. On the wood, they're saying almond, cedar, hazelnut, oak, pecan, and walnut. So basically everything but pine. And... Maybe like elderwood or something. No, no poplar? No, there's no bamboo in this. Uh, That's good. Fruit and floral, mother of God. <laughs> I'm looking at your screen there. Apple, apricot, blackberry, blueberry, cherry, cognac, cranberry, green apple, honeysuckle, lemon, orange, peach, pear, and rose petal. Rose petal... Is so I guess they, that's the floral. Did they just walk down the center aisle of a farmer's market and go, yes, Whole yes, foods. yes, these, Boom, these are foods. in here. <laughs> uh, Spice-wise, oh. anise, black pepper, cinnamon, clove, coffee, herbal, <laughs> just just herbal, <laughs> mint, nutmeg, and tobacco. Is there another category? There's uh, sweet good, aromatics. Good, good, make and me angrier. So here is where I get, this is the only one to me that makes sense. <laughs> okay. Right? The sweet aromatics, brown sugar, butterscotch, caramel, yeah. chocolate, honey, maple syrup, marzipan, I don't get the marzipan, and vanilla. I get those flavors, and that's what I associate with what food, uh -huh. right? Yeah. I associate that deep, rich, dark, sweet flavor with Woodford. Mm -hmm. uh, I generally think cherry is a flavor that goes with Woodford a lot, and we said that with the double oak. It was more prevalent in the double oak to me. That that chocolate cherry. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. With a jet taking off in the background now. <laughs> what the, the background noises today? So much yard work. Yeah, I know. These people have a rest day. No. No. The more I'm drinking this, the more I like it. Yeah, I know. It's great. This was the one I was hesitant to buy, too. The rye <clears throat> is extremely good. The double oak is blow your mind. But this is far and away better than mm -hmm. their standard. Oh, yeah. And uh, the guys who picked this are very discerning well, about yeah. their whiskey. I've seen their list. And they have all of them. Yes. Like, literally, they have all of them. And if that's the one they picked, I trust them. Probably doesn't suck. It's not going to suck, no. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. So you said it was $52 for this bottle, right? And that's the liter bottle. Right, so what? Take off 25% of that. So 40 bucks. Yeah. It's thirty nine ninety nine regular for their stuff. It's, I mean, that's what the price is. They you couldn't yeah. mark it up because it would obviously be selling outside of there. Right. They 
PVC system, but that's what that's what it costs. It costs fifty two dollars. Like if there was a one liter bottle of that on the shelf, it'd be fifty two dollars. See, that's crazy because there are so many barrel picks that are double the price. Hi, Woodenville. Terrible to see you again. But like the regular bottle is thirty five to forty. Yeah. And the store pick is sixty to seventy. Yeah. But that's asinine. Yeah, it is. Whereas so many, I would say the majority of store picks, I feel like. 20% more than the regular. Well, you did some work, right? Yeah. You got some You got some cost in it. I mean, right. It's not like you're paying for it. They did. Yeah. But they want, that's that's what they pick. They want their name out there. I mean, and you, there was, they put a nice cool label on the front. You know, some people put stupid Iron Man labels and stuff on their bottles, whatever. They, put your name on it. You picked it. Yeah. Put your damn name on it. I would. Be my face on there. Hey, <laughs> hey, you know? hey, Something yeah. stupid, right? Um, yeah, so, I mean, again, for a seven fifty of this, if this were $40, Hell outst yeah. outstanding. All day. Yes. All day buying that. Uh, don't have, I mean, there's there's more notes. They give like a... No, some, no other notes on it, Matt? Oh, oh, there's notes. I can keep scrolling. Oh, if you need some awards, they've got awards. Did you say what the mash bill was on it? I, I kind of tuned out amidst all the different flavors. No, they give you what the grains are. They tell you that it's malt and rye. No but shit. they don't give percentages. Does it say corn? Of corn. Well, Appearance is clean and brilliant honey amber. Okay. Cool. But they don't, there's nothing, I mean, unless I'm just. I will say, I mean, we're, we're kind of giving them some shit about it, but I do like a lot of the stuff that Brown Foreman makes. I mean, they make Woodford, they make Old Forester, I forget the other delicious stuff they make, but Brown Foreman makes a lot of stuff that I like. Yeah. So put a little bit of water in this. Don't have much left of it. Well, you know what? Enough in the bottle. You can pull yourself some bow if you want to. Well, we've got some other things behind this that I don't. I don't want to overdo it too much. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I see we have stag, which is I think what 116 percent. One one thirty. Yeah, and uh, the, the Baker's is 107. So I, I'm gonna chill with this. Yeah, I, the water. I mean, I I've drinking, drinking, drankton. Tea uh, pain over here. Done drunk. <laughs> done drunk. Drink them, got drunk. Um, I've had this mainly over ice, like all of my other bourbons. Had it, I always pour a neat glass first. Mm -hmm. Just kind of give myself a, this is what it tastes like. And then my go-to is a couple cubes of ice, put it in there, yep. let it sit for a minute, go. Right, And it changes so much from the time you pour it in the glass oh, yeah. to the time you get to the end of the glass. Right, The end of the glass is a little bit weaker, but that just tells you it's time to get up. That's your, mm -hmm. that's your marker, right? <laughs> yeah. It's like corn. That's <laughs> your marker. <laughs> so you, uh, I think it's good neat. I think it's good with a little bit of water. I think it's great over ice. Yeah. I don't think it changes the flavor or the nose or anything in so, a bad way at all. The little bit that I added, there was no appreciable difference for no. better or worse. No. I think it may Which take is the rare. heat down on the nose a little bit, but there wasn't much heat to begin no, with, right? I didn't get much heat on there. All right, score wise, while you while you sip that, so we're going to call it like forty dollars for, for comparison's sake. For a size fifty of it, yes. Yeah. For forty dollars, eighty-eight. That's exactly what I was thinking. It's it's good. There's nothing about it that's mind blowing, but it's interesting enough, and there's nothing offensive about it. Oh, literally nothing. I mean, that's. I may, if there are any bottles left, I may go back and just get another one. Yeah. Because I I'd rather have that than just the regular Woodford. For the same price? Because I know exactly what that tastes like. Yes. The other Woodford, I know exactly what it tastes like, but it doesn't taste like that. No, this is better. That's better. For the same price. Same price. Perfect. Pro problem solved. Yeah, exactly. Um, perfect. So we're going to do the double oaked and we're going to do the rye as well. Oh, damn in it. The same. I know. I'm sorry. I have to burden you uh, with this tasting. Just, just rude. Uh, they're great. I think we may do a head to head with both of those. So it won't just be a single video with just that. We'll do the rye versus the single barrel and then we'll, or the, uh, the barrel pick and then we'll do the same thing with the double oak. I think that'd probably be a good idea. Uh, that sounds like a good time to me. Hey, that's what we're here for. We're here for a good time, not for a long time. <laughs> Thanks, Bird. <laughs> yeah, appreciate it. <laughs> uh, so, stay tuned. Yeah. You're going to want to see those videos, because I know I'm going to want to make those videos. Yeah. So the best way you can see those videos, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell. 
Yeah, the little bell down there, it's great. It sends you a notification. It's like, hey, new booze briefs. All right, cool. I'm going to go check that out. And, Very nice. Yeah, <laughs> high fives and such. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, all those. We are at booze briefs. You get to be in there. Dot com. I, well, we do have a website, but I don't really maintain it. Cause ah, just check out the Instagram and Facebook. Yeah, just the social medias and YouTube. We're there. But uh, until then, have a good glass. Or something. Bring something good. You don't have to drink something good, but you're going to want to. Yeah. I know I do. Yes. And for now, we're going to shove off. <laughs> <laughs> Make another video here soon. Okay, guys. <laughs> Bye. Bye.